Morning. Good 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 morning.
If you, O Lord, keep our work out of sins, O Lord, who could stand? Since we are gathering to hear God's word, call upon him in prayer and prayers. We receive the blood, receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the fellow of these altars. Let us first consider our worthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sins in thought, word in deed, and that we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together as his people, let us take refuge in the infant mercy of, of God and Heavenly Father, seek his grace for the sake of Christ, and say, God, be merciful to me as a sinner. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Almighty God in His mercy has given His Son to die for us and for all seek forgiveness you all your sins. As a call and ordained servant of Christ and by His authority, I therefore forgive all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come and hear all you all. Fear God, and I will tell what He has done for my soul, and shout for joy to God. And all the earth, think the glory of His name, given to Him glorious praise. Bless our God, all peoples. Let the sound of His praise be heard, who gave our soul among the livings, and has not let us, let our feet slip. Blessed be God. For he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginnings, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come and hear all. Come and hear all who fear God and will be tell what he has done for my soul. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. 
one God, and now forever. First reading today, seventh Sunday after Easter, is from Acts chapter 1. And the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James. All these, with one accord, were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the women and Mary, the mother of Joseph, or the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the brothers. The company of persons was in all about 120. And he said, Brothers, the scriptures had been, had been fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man bought a field with his reward of wickedness, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. And it became known to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their language Elkmada, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, may his camp become desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it, and let another take his office. So one of the men who had been accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out amongst us, beginning from the baptism of John, until the day when he was taken up from us. All these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. And they put forward two, Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also called Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two have been chosen to take the place in this ministry and this apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go in his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This little reading today is 1 John chapter 5. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that he has, he has borne concerning his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar, as he has not believed in the testimony that God had borne concerning his Son. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his Son. Whoever has a Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, in whatever, in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have been asked of him. This is the word of the Lord. Yes,
Jesus said, Holy Father, give them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guided them, and not one of them has been lost, except the one of destruction, that the inscription may be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your words, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil ones. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their six, I concrete myself that they also may be sanctified in truth. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Christ. So we are here to Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, make it heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, as in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten is His Father before all of us, God of all gods, life, life, very God, very God, begotten, not made, being among substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us meant and for our salvation, come down from heaven, and was begotten by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and crucified also for us from the conscious of violence. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to his scriptures, and he sent to the heavens, and sit at the right hand of the Father, and then he will come again for the glory to judge us to the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of heaven's life, who proceed from the Father and the Son and the Son, who will be the Father and the Son together with the Lord. Who is loving by the prophets, and I believe in one whole church and an apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look forward 
Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Our text is John chapter 17, verse 15, taken from today's Gospel readings. Jesus said, Father, I have not asked you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil ones. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. The John chapter 17 is referred to Jesus' highly precious praise. The precious go between two peoples. In, in this case, Jesus' acting has go between the Heavenly Father and Jesus' disciple by praying for them. Jesus prayed that his Heavenly Father would keep the disciples from the world and from the evil ones or Satan's. Both the world and Satan's are evil and stand opposed to all Jesus and his disciples proclaims. The disciples of Christ have the word of God. It is God's word that reveals. It is revealed the truth that Jesus is the Son of God. As Jesus said in the first three of this chapter, and this is eternal life, that you know the only true is God and Jesus Christ whom you have seen, whom you have sent. When it comes to this sermon and this place and this place and disciples, give the demand to all elements and commitments. The disciples were not of the world, even as Jesus was not of the world. Jesus came from God out of heaven. And have we celebrated this past, th past Thursdays on Ascension Day? Jesus was now returned to heaven to be set at the right hand of the, of the God, the Father Almighty. The disciples and other believers were born again by the Spirit of God and given them the nature of God. The disciples were need in the world. The need was not for them to be taken out of the world. The need was for to keep from the evils out of from or from Satan. The Apostle Paul wrote about this Ephesians chapter 6. Finally we are strong in Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the scrum of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority against the domestic power of our present that base, and again the special force of evil in the heavenly place. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil days, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fasted on veil of truth, and having put a brisk blade of rashness, and the shoes for your feet have been put on the readings given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, stand taken up the shell of faith, which we can extinguish all the flames, ducks of the evil ones, and takes the harmony of salvation and the sword of the his word, his, his, his spirit, which is the word of God. Pray all at times. In the spirit was all prayer and supplication to the end. Keep alert was all perseverance. Next, supplication for all the saints. The disciple were called to be ambassador and messenger of God in the world. God is patient to serve the world depending on, upon their loyalty and faithfulness. Jesus prayed that God who sanctified the disciples. They were to be sanctified through so God is truth. The truth that is revealed to us in God is word. As Jesus said in John chapter 14, he is the full revelation of God. 
Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is his enough for us. And Jesus said to him, I have been with you so long, Philip, and you still didn't know me, Philip. Whoever seen me has seen the Father. How come you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The word that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or is it believe account of the works themselves? Here in this chapter, John tell us, no one ever see God, the Holy God who is Father's side. He, Jesus has made himself known. Now that Jesus was ascending into the, into the heaven, the disciples were being sent into the world just as Jesus had been sent into, into the world. Just as Jesus came into the world to bring them back to, to God through reconciliation, he gave his life on the cross to pay for our sins and the sin of the entire world. The disciple has set apart to this same test that has that test was to proclaim and cry the forgiveness of all. Saint Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me. Even so, I am sending you. And when he had said this, he burst on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sin of any, they were given, they were, they are given to them. You was full forgiveness from any. It is was all. As the disciples went out, to make more disciples, Jesus would, Jesus would be with them. And Jesus come and say to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of age. And says to them, Go into our world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be served, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Right before ascending into the heaven, Jesus told his disciples, But you will receive the power. When the Holy Spirit has come you, has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth, but you shall receive the power that the Holy, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness unto, unto me both in Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria, unto utmost part of the earth. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the apostle put it this way, and Christ God reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, we are counsel to God, for our sake he made him to be, to be, he asked, he made him to be sins who knew no sins. That is, in him we may become gracious of God. Finally, the Apostle Peter read about our mission in First Peter chapter 3, put it in heart, Honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a de defense to anyone who asks you for reason for the hope that is in you, 
yet do it with gentleness and respect. Sanctification is the way of salvation, shows to reach the world. Jesus has sent has set himself apart to please God, being set apart, serves and worship God, and that salvation is about. This is the reason Jesus prayed for his disciples to, to be sanctified. As our ascended Lord, Jesus is still praying for us. He prayed that we would sanctify and set apart for participating in great commission of being ambassador for Christ. Yesterday I attended the funeral of a fellow Sudanese pastor in Omaha, Nebraska. Pastor John Dem was a man who was set apart to serve in the Lord his kingdom. God blessed his ministry in many ways. His family and the people that he served with miss him very much. Pastor Dan is just at young age to remind us that we do not know how time we have on this earth to serve the Lord. So we need to be ready and willing to serve and make disciples for the kingdoms of God. We have best good news to share with people about how God sent Jesus into the world to help the world through his death and resurrection. And now Jesus sent us not to serve the world but to bring the salvation of Jesus to the others. He promised to be with us wherever we go and keep us from evil ones. He equipped us with his holy word and with his holy spirit. And we never know when our time on earth to serve the Lord will be over. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep us and mind in Jesus Christ. Please, you can bring open forward. I will reveal your glory in the face of your holy forgotten sons. Who suffered, died, and rose from our salvation. You have extolled him to the highest majesty at your right hand, that he may closely feel all things. Grant us peacefully to eat and drink. This is only suffer, trusting our arrangings. Serve your Jesus, who thought and seen in his ascending glory. It is here present to serve by his holy, by his body and blood. Here we pray in his name and as he has taught us. Almighty God, who give thanks for all your goodness and bless for love that sustain us from day to day. We press 
you for the gift of your sons and our Savior in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. We serve your Holy Spirit and the Comforter for your Holy Church, for the men of grace, for the lives of our fruitful, faithful, and, ju and just people, and for the hope of life to come. Help us to stress in our heart all that you have done for us. Enable us to show our thankful in life that are wholly given your serve. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Serve and defend your whole church. Proceed with the precious blood of Christ. Strengthen your faithful people through the word and the holy sacraments. Make them perfect in love and in all good works and establishing in them the first one delivered to the saints. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Grant your wisdom and heavenly grace to all pastors and to those who hold offered in your church, that by their devout serve, faith may abundance in your kingdom increase, Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Send the light of your truth into all the hearts, rest up, faithful servant of Christ, to advance the gospel both at home and in distant land. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In your mercy, strength newly, establish congregation and support them in challenging time. Make them steadfast, abundant in the works of Lord, and let their face and zeal for the gospel refresh and renew the witness of your people. Be very aware, Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Preserve our nation in justice and honor that we pray you may be led a peaceful life with integrity and great health and fervor for all who bear office in our land, especially the President of the United States, Congress of the United States, and the Governor of the State of Minnesota, and to all those who make administrated and justice our laws. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Let the Lord be with you. And also with you. Live up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our, our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly good rest and solidarity, even more fresh view and same. Holy. After the supper, and when he gave him thanks, 
he gave it to them and says, Drink of all, drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, you remember of me. This of the Lord be with you all of us. Amen.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen and preserve you in the body and soul of life everlasting, divided in peace. Amen. Yeah. 